why it's taken a whole year off my life. It has. Oh, that sounds terrible. But I get a kiss? Sorry. Oh, thank you. Now, you were saying... Well, first, Mr. Bounce made me stay in all recess, and only because Tony and I had a fight. A fight? Who won? It was a draw. Oh. Then, I dropped all my lunch on the ground and I got covered in ants. Well, I hope you didn't eat it. I picked them all off. Then, while we were having PE in the gymnasium, everybody sat on top of me and I got squashed. <laughs> oh, you have had a day. And we have to do a project on different countries for Monday. You had to pick a country out of Sue's hat. And whatever country you got, you have to do an essay about it. All the different animals. What country did you pick? Africa. I have to do an essay about all the different animals by Monday morning. Oh, well, you have the whole weekend. I know. Mama, do you think David mind if I borrowed his treasury of knowledge? It's in his room and it might have some African animals in it. It might. Well, Mike, you leave everything just as you found it. You know, I don't like you going into any of your godfather's rooms without their permission. But Dave wouldn't mind. Oh, I suppose not. I'll go and get it. somebody some money? Yes, it is. Why, Mike? Can you go to prison if you don't pay it? Well, you can. It depends. Why do you ask? It's nothing. Did they put you in the district court first? Oh, I don't know. Um, well, yes, I suppose they can. What is it, Mike? Why are you asking these questions? It's nothing, really. And wake up with the sun in my eyes And face another day Yesterday I thought the rain would tumble down And blot out the skies But still it brought to me The Godfather's a change in my world The Godfather's bringing me the Telling me the word For such a good life When I tell my troubles to three And nothing worries me If I could, I know I would not live naturally I'd rather be with the Godfathers A change in my world The Godfathers bringing me the Telling me the word For such a good life the list. Uh, what are we up to? Um, baboons. Baboons. So that's baboons. Then there's a hyena. A why, Mike? Oh. Ina. Uh, a giraffe. Oh, I know one. A hippopotamus. How do you spell it? Hippopotamus? Ask your godfathers, Mike. Your mother's English doesn't quite run to hippopotamus. <laughs> Do you know, I think there are some old magazines in the shed. I'm sure they would have animal pictures in some of them. Why don't you have a look through them? In the shed? Mm, underneath the old sewing machine. Okay, Mama. Thanks. There must be something amongst all those. Won't be long. Dollar signs. <laughs> I've had worse. How about you? Okay, Chris. You know the district court? Yeah? 
Can you really be sent to jail for one if you've done something bad? Well, I guess you probably could. Well, what have you done? It's not me. <laughs> could you have me worried for a minute? Who are we talking about? Just someone we know. Who? I don't want to say, Chris. I'll race you to the back door. Well, you could give a man some warning. He went that away. <laughs> Is he all right? Mike? Oh, I think so. I talked to him out the front. He asked me a couple of curly questions. About district courts and prisons? Yeah, what's it all about? I can't imagine. It's probably nothing. Yeah, probably. I'll see you in a minute. Oh, uh, hello. <laughs> hello. I won. I'm out of condition. Listen, fill me in. What's all this about going to jail and all that? And who's the someone we know? No one. Chris, do you have any wild animals in your room? Come again? I have to do a project on African animals, but I don't know all of them, just some. I borrowed Dave's treasury of knowledge, but it only has a few. Hmm. Well, I don't think I have, Tiger. Uh, what about those old magazines in the shed? No, I looked. Nothing? Not much. Well, what do you need to know? Shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, plenty to write about there. And seeing you seem to turn to change the subject. All right, let's explore Africa. Thanks, Chris. Well, let's start with monkeys. Monkeys should cheer you up a bit. Chris, when animals are in the zoo, do they mind being behind bars and things? Isn't it like being in a jail? Animals in the zoo are very well looked after, Mike. They're confined, but, well, they're also protected. Protected from lots of things and from each other. They're well fed. When they're sick, they get the best of medical attention. They've got a permanent roof over their heads and their keepers give them a lot of love. And by just being, they bring a lot of happiness to a lot of people. I don't think they mind at all. Is that like a real jail, then? No, not really. Come on, what's it all about? Dave, uh, this afternoon when I was borrowing his treasury of knowledge, a paper fell out of one of his books. He owes someone a hundred dollars, and if he doesn't pay it, he'll have to go to the district court and be sent to prison. I don't think David would like it in jail, Chris. Well, I'll buy that. A hundred dollars. Could you fix it, Chris? Let's see that piece of paper first. Just make sure you haven't got the bull by the horns. Where is it? It's in Dave's room. I'll get it for you. I can't. I promised I wouldn't go into anyone's room without their permission. I have to ask. Right there. Yes, I can. I left Dave's treasury of knowledge in the kitchen. I'll just tell Mum I'm going to put it back. Okay, uh, listen. Um, look, uh, don't say anything to your mother about this. If you're right, I, uh, I don't think Dave would like it if he thought any of us knew. It might embarrass him. Okay. I'm just going to put this back in Dave's room before he gets home. All right, Mike. I've thought of some more animals while I've been cooking dinner. I'll come in in just a minute, help you finish off your list. Okay, I'll just put this back then. I got it. Uh -huh. oh, it looks like the real thing. Hundred dollars. Oh, I don't know. Dave's never mentioned it. anything about being in any kind of financial difficulty. Mama will be in in a minute to finish off the animal list. Okay, put this back where you've got it. I'll keep your mother occupied for a couple of minutes. Is Dave really in trouble, Chris? I don't know, Tiger. Away you go. Chris, is Mike in his room? Um, yeah. Uh, Maria, my shirt seems to be missing a button. I just noticed. Ah, oh, where's my sewing basket? Ah, you're a good woman. No, just a very average one. Hey, Chris, how are you? Fine. Look, I'll walk around the back with you. There's something I want to talk to you about. It doesn't make sense to me. Dave's not the type to delay repaying a debt. I can't believe he has money. Don't be so idealistic. At some time in his life, everybody owes money. Yeah, I guess so. Perhaps he doesn't have a hundred dollars to pay it. That's what I think. Anyway, I'll talk to him tonight and offer to loan him the money. Seems the best way. Being in a bit of financial difficulty is nothing to get embarrassed about. Shouldn't be. Well, I'll get your halves. Don't be silly, it's all right. I want to. Okay, we'll talk to him tonight. Evening, all. Hello, Dave. How's your day? Good, good. Always feel happy on payday. G'day, Dave. Just come in. Hi, yeah, just a second. Bit late tonight. Had to pick something up after work. Is that it in the box? Yes, it is. What is it, or shouldn't I ask? Ask. I'm asking. It's a new suit. A new suit? Really? You didn't mention that you were getting a new suit, Dave. Is it nice? 
it is something else. Had it made to measure. I've only got the one suit and it's feeling the strain of it, so I thought it was time I splurged and got myself another. Can you afford it? <laughs> Of course I can, otherwise I wouldn't have got it. What did it cost? A uh, rude question, but I'm just curious. Well, that's okay. $95. Good, eh? See ya. Does that mean that Dave really had the money to pay off his debt all the time? It must. What do you reckon, Chris? Well, it looks like it, doesn't it? I can't understand him being so stupid. $95 for a suit. Is that a lot? When you're about to be taken to court over $100, yes. Do we say anything? Oh, I don't think so. No, it's better not to. You won't mention this to Mama, will you? She might ask Dave to leave. Well, I doubt that, but... No, we won't say anything about it to her. There's no reason why she should know she's harboring an irresponsible idiot. But Dave's nice. Don't you like him anymore? Of course we do. Mike, even the nicest people are capable of behaving foolishly sometimes. And when they do, we have to try and help them. Are we going to help Dave? Yes, we are, but not until he asks for it. Come on, let's go and have dinner. I've finished, Mama. Can I be excused? I want to do my project. You may. Excuse me. Sure, Mike. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Little old lady. Little old lady who? I didn't know you could yodel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess it isn't very funny. Oh, I thought it was. Dave. What do you know about African animals? Mike has to do a project for school. I told him he could look in your treasury of knowledge, but he didn't seem to find very much. He found something, didn't he? Yes, but apparently not enough. I hope it was all right. Of course, I don't mind. Well, I don't know. I, I reckon the best place to learn about animals is at the zoo. Tomorrow, Saturday, why don't we take him? Oh, but it means giving up your day. Oh, I'd love it. I haven't been in years. What do you say? I haven't got any plans. Can't me in. I've never been to the zoo. You're kidding. I'm not. Chris? Well, it looks like we're taking two kids to the zoo. Oh, that's good, Chris. Mike will be terribly thrilled. Thank you, Dave. Uh, Dave, um, just one thing, mate. Uh, don't wear your new suit, eh? Well, I wasn't going to. Well, it's fine, because... Um, oh, you may decide you want to return it. Uh, you never know, do you? Would you, girl? You must be being punished for something, mate. Elizabeth, sometimes I think I'm living in a madhouse. Half the time I just don't know what's going on. Now they're not talking to each other. Well, they are, but there's a feeling. I just don't understand it. Who's not talking to whom, though? Chris and Gary aren't talking to David. Except, of course, they are. How about Mike? Oh, he's somewhere caught in between. Oh, I do know he's worried. Elizabeth, don't you hate it when you don't know what's going on underneath your nose? Well, of course, we're women. Come on, Chris, it'll be beautiful. They're very gentle. I hope his back's a bit stronger than mine. <laughs>
wieder heimbricht. You off? Yes. Now you can see what I mean. Dave's not coming. He's just told us. He says he's not feeling well. It's a lie, of course. He's as healthy as an ox. Oh, really? Well, what about his ticket? Oh, the theatre will refund it. Elizabeth, will you come with us? If Dave's staying home, he can babysit with Mike. Oh, thanks, Maria, but I'm not dressed or anything. I'll stay home and keep an eye on both of them. You are sweet to give up your Saturday night. Thank you. No trouble at all, Maria. You don't get out nearly enough, and seeing a show will do you the world of good. Well, anyway, thank you. Ready? I'm coming. Goodbye, boys. Have a good night. Enjoy the show. Thanks, Elizabeth. See you later. My turn. Chris is back. playing up again. <laughs> night. Liz? Hmm? You feel like a cup of tea? Not right now, thanks, Dave. Ask me again in half an hour. Writing letters. No, Mike gave me his essay to read. How was the zoo? Good. Help Mike with this, anyway. How is Mike? I'm just going to look in on him. He's just about asleep, I think. Liz, have a look at this. He's been doodling around the edge of the paper. Do you know what that's all about? Gee, I wish I did. There's something going on in this house that I just don't understand. Well, I presume that because of the glasses, that this is supposed to be you behind bars, but... Why the hundred dollars? You tell me. I arrived home from work last night, and ever since then I've had nothing but cracks and funny looks. Who from? Chris and Gary. Even Mike. Oh, it's all very subtle. It's got something to do with my new suit. They all hate me having a new suit. Oh, that doesn't make sense for a start. It's ridiculous. Anyway, first thing on Monday morning, I'm taking it back. I just want to see if it makes any difference. Well, I think it's all a bit silly. I know, but it's definitely that new suit. They resent it. Oh, they don't. What nonsense! <laughs> they do. Otherwise, why all the shifty looks and funny remarks? Beats me. And what's the strength of all this, all these hundred dollar signs? And could somebody please tell me what I'm doing behind bars? What am I supposed to have done? You asleep? I'm asleep. Now I'm awake. You should be asleep. How's the trip to the zoo? It was terrific. Mike, what were all those dollar signs and things on the margin of your essay? Was that Dave you had behind bars? I didn't know I'd drawn anything. Well, you were doodling and didn't know you were doing it. What do they mean, Mike? I can't say. Dave's terribly worried, you know. Even your mother's noticed how strangely you've all been behaving. Dave didn't even go with them to the theatre tonight. And on Monday, he says he's going to take his new suit back. Is he really? Well, so he says. That's good then, because then I'll be able to use the money for something else. Something really important. All right, young man. Let's you and I have a little talk. It's incredible. Fantastic! I don't know anything about it. Well, that's what he told me. Mike, can I see you in my room for a minute? Honestly, Liz, the whole thing's a dreadful mistake. I'm innocent. I don't know what any of them are talking about. That's it. Well, yes or no? Oh, I remember this. Chris and Gary are going to lend you the money, Dave. We wouldn't let you go to prison. So that's why they were so upset about the new suit. That's why. You didn't tell Mama, though, Dave. Mike, didn't any of you check the date on this? No. I suppose I should be grateful for the fact that you're all so concerned. Oh, 1966! I was in a bit of strife at the time with money. A lot of bills and things seemed to arrive at once. But it was all straightened out a long time ago. 1966? 1966. I can't understand why nobody checked the date. Sorry, Dave. Well, that's cleared that mystery up. Come on, I'll give you a ride back to bed. I'll have a word with those two when they get home. I rode on an elephant today, Miss Dent. Oh, and how was it? Oh, neat. They really walk. It was a real experience. <laughs> Good night. Hang on, elephant boy. Dave, feeling better? Much. <laughs> was Mike any trouble? As good as gold, wasn't he, Dave? Hey, even better. Listen, while you're all here, there's something I'd like to talk about. I've been in a bit of trouble lately, and it's been worrying me a lot. I knew there was something. Go on, Dave. Well, it's this. I owe some money, and if I can't pay it, it'll mean prison. Disgrace. I'll have a record. Oh, Dave. I know it's terrible. Anyway, I've thought about it. And I've decided the most important thing is to keep your sense of humor, particularly if you have no intention of paying it, which I haven't. <laughs> so I'll just laugh it off and take the consequences. This... Oh, is stop all it. I have to say about it. Come on, Dave, you know what you're doing? You better do a heavy rethink, mate. I'm not afraid. Well, I'm afraid for your sanity. What are you, some kind of nut? David Milson. Don't worry about me. I do. Well, don't. That note is there six years old. Oh, come on, Dave, tell them the truth. He's having you all on. Well, if you will go spying through other people's personal papers, the least you can do is check on dates. What was the year? 1966. 
Do you know you had everyone worried sick about you? I know, and I'm grateful. You're true friends. I appreciate it. Well, I don't appreciate the joke. Well, it's not my fault. You should have read it more carefully. You deserve to be locked up. Uh, now, fellas, come on. You wouldn't hit a man with glasses. Don't <laughs> count on it. Friendship is a wonderful thing. <laughs> Always built. Oh, he waved to be the sweet child. Hello. Well, how was it today? Today was good. Mr. Barnes let me read out my essay in front of the whole class, and he gave me an A. It's wonderful, Mike. Congratulations. He said I must have done a lot of um, research. Oh, isn't that nice? I told him all about going to the zoo, and he said that my godfathers must be saints, because whenever he goes to the zoo, all that walking nearly kills him. Really? And he said next Saturday he wants the whole class to go to the zoo all together. We're going to do another animal project. You're going again? Yes, and he wants Chris and Gary and Dave to come too, because they liked it so much before, so I said I'd ask. Mike, was that Mr. Barnes' suggestion or yours? Mine. Oh, Mike, you shouldn't have. But they'll want to come. They like it. I hope so. Anyway, it'll be fun. There'll be 25 of us. 25? Oh, they'll love it. They'll just love it. Early morning, sleepy on, and wake up with the sun in my eyes. And face another day. Yesterday, I thought the rain would tumble down and blot out the skies. But still it brought to me The Godfather's a change in my world The Godfather's bringing me the telling me 